Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. I'm back with another Yes Style haul. Um, this time it's solely beauty products, so I'm super excited. Um, these items are like day-to-day -day kind of use and um, it's super easy to apply and super easy to just maintain as a schedule. I usually, I'm not the type to have like a 20 step skincare, pro uh, skincare routine, um, even though that's essentially the goal in life, but um, I just don't have time to do that. So I like to be able to at least keep my skin clear, keep my skin clean and keep it hydrated and moisturized moisturized, I can't say that word, but um, I'm really excited to show you guys these. Um, great, uh, yes Style has graciously gifted me these, so um, I will have never tried these and I will give you my complete and honest opinion. But if you do like these, um, I do have a discount code for you, it'll be right here. So uh, feel free to use it and um, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. So first off, I have the Claire's Gentle Black Brush Cleansing Oil, and virtually this is just a cleansing oil. It melts off your makeup, and I think the most important part is that it melts off your um, sunscreen. I have the hardest time getting sunscreen off, um, no matter what cleansing, like wash, foam I use, I feel like I get my makeup off for sure. But when it comes to sunscreen, I, I don't know. It makes me wonder if I really, really can get it off, like fully. So whenever I use my cleansing oils and everything, I, I used to, um, and I still kind of do, I take like wipes first, and then I do the foam, and then sometimes an oil just just to feel extra clean because I always think that my sunscreen still remains on <laughs> like some little residue of it and I can't fully get it off but uh, when I did my research on this guy it says it clearly gets sunscreen off so I think that's super important for you to get like all of the dead everything material off of your face so um, I'm really excited to use this okay let's go ahead and get started Try it on. It applies super clear, like oil, just like that. And then I'm just gonna apply it to my face. Yeah, it feels really good. My skin has been really, really crackly lately because it's like winter now so the weather has slowly started to get colder which I love because the summer was extra hot but um yeah it, I don't know like there's never a solution to it once my skin just gets crackly no matter how much moisturizer I use it never goes away I just have to like let it heal like my crackly skin on its own and I mean that seems to eventually work but I really want to find something where I can like help get my crackly skin uh, uncrackled <laughs> I don't know but okay I think that's good enough you don't need to like harshly scrub it in just Massage your face with it. I actually never use cleansing oils. So I don't know which one is better, a foam or an oil. I'm sure they both work efficiently, but I don't know. I feel like oils may work more efficiently just because it gets really in there and it molds to like your natural skin oils. It gets like everything out, you know what I mean? Like foams might get like the surface, but not like really in there. All right, let's see how that works. 
Guys, I feel like super clean. <laughs> um, I don't know how to describe it. When I was washing it off, it just felt like I was getting everything off of my face. Oh my God, wait, guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> my crackly skin went away. Wait, what the heck? <gasps> was it really this easy? All I needed was cleansing oil. Stop. <gasps> Guys, okay, so usually my cleansing uh, or my oily skin, or sorry, my crackly uh, skin was around my cheeks, like right in this vicinity. It would not go away no matter what foam I used, what um, oil I used after, what moisturizer I kicked on after, like it would not go away. It's off, like it's so smooth now. Literally, if you guys struggle with the same issue, like the crackly skin, try this out. It literally, oh my God, I just feel so much better in my skin now that it's like not scratchy. And you know when your skin is scratchy, like when you put on makeup, your skin still looks scratchy and it looks flaky because your skin is like, it's flaky essentially. <laughs> but now my makeup is probably gonna go on so much more smoother. I'm not lying, you guys, this is, my crackly skin just went away like after one use. Guys, try this one. Okay guys, so next up is our Maycoop Raw Sauce. Um, it's a hydrating and nourishing essence. So um, first off, I really like their packaging. Um, I'm a huge like environmental sap, so I really like that it like feels like wood which kind of plays into the role because majority of uh, what they have in here, they're, they have a high concentration of maple tree sap. So it plays really well with the, with the packaging and marketing of it, but I just have to share that. So we have this, it's basically like a clear serum and I'm really excited, but you know what the funniest thing is? Um, I looked at my mom's products and she's a huge skincare, like, junkie. <laughs> and she has, she has the bigger version of it. So I know I can trust this product because my mom uses it. Um, and she just looks like, her skin looks flawless. So guys, trust my mom. She knows what's up. So. Let's try this guy. It's like a, kind of heavy, which I like in products because to me, I kind of equate like the heavier something is, the more like expensive it is or high quality it is. So probably not the right way to look at it, but I like how heavy it is. Okay, so it's just clear like that. And I'm just gonna... Probably shouldn't drag down my skin like that. It's a habit, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna let it soak in a little bit. I don't know if I put enough, but I think it like seeped into my skin really well. I'm gonna use the next product as well. It's the Day Mellow. So it's virtually like, it's a massage healer. Um, it just basically massages into your skin. What you should do, you can use it hot or cold, so you can heat this up or cool this off. Um, I tend to like to refrigerate my products, so all you have to do is like, once it's cold, just rub it all around and it glides really nicely. I would use this uh, with like my serums, you know, like, that way you can really get everything in. I don't know if I'm rambling, <laughs> but yeah, I like really like these kind of things. I get really sweaty right here, so it doesn't glide super um, 
doesn't glide super well like right here, but around your cheeks, it glides really nicely. And then across your forehead, glides really nicely. Just massages your face. One thing I really like to do is like self massage, you guys. Like I like to massage like under my eye, like just press down, um, like around my, the eye socket, uh, what you do, it got a little red, but basically by massaging your eye socket, it gives like circulation around your face and it wake, it wakes you up basically. Um, and when your eyes feel super like tired and like sluggish and everything, um, I always massage right here and then also right, right below my, um, what is it? My eyebrows right below on, um, at the outline of my eye socket. It's like, it wakes you up basically. And then also like down here on your jawline. It just, it feels really good. It's circulation for your face and all the way down to your neck. Like also your hand is connected to every part of your body. I don't know exactly the, all the um, acupuncture points, but you could look that up on Google. <laughs> But uh, just massaging like here, when you get indigestion and like here, um, it makes you feel a lot better. Um, and then you're, if you ever get a headache, I always get headaches like all the time. Just massage right here and like right in the middle on both sides. And it'll help you get your headache um, to go away faster. So it's really cool how the body and anatomy works, but yeah. So this is nice. It's really good to just like uh, deep bloat your face as well. Um, I would typically, I don't know if I would ever heat this personally, but I would definitely refrigerate this and make it work. I really like this product. It feels really nice. Um, it dries really quickly. So I guess like, I don't know a lot of people that would like cake on product like this, but um, it's good to just like press into your skin and let it seep in basically. Okay, and last but not least, we have this Grafton Daily Sun Essence. So huge, huge benefit about this product. Oh, that's a cool packaging. So you just rip it and then it just folds right out like that. But the huge, huge benefit about this is it's F SPF uh, 50 and it's like PA, PA plus, 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 plus. <laughs> so virtually that just means it blocks out like the highest amount of UV rays. Um, it's like the highest protection basically. Uh, but what I do like about this is that it's, when I did research on it, um, it says that it ha it's supposed to have a cooling effect. So essentially um, during summer or even fall because it was really hot during fall this year. Um, and I expect it to only get hotter the years following. But um, this uh, sunscreen, essentially has a cooling effect. So it keeps your temperature cooler um, as a, as a essence, but let me try. It's a good amount on. Oh, I could already feel it. <laughs> when I rubbed it on my hands, I felt the cooling effect. Wow, okay. So it's really light, like the texture is super, super light. It doesn't feel heavy like, you know, the other kind of brands, but. Mmm, smells really good. <laughs> it smells like lavender and like, like, what is that? Like, sage? I don't know, it kind of smells like sage, like lavender and something lemony. It has a really good scent, you guys. It's not overpowering, it's just like, it smells really good. But, um, 
yeah, it's ready. I'll sit down. It literally takes like 10 seconds for it to just kind of seep into your skin. I think it's nice that it's also really light because it, you don't have to keep on like rubbing and rubbing into your face for it to like actually get into your skin. But it feels really good. I like that it's SPF 50. One huge thing as someone with darker skin and someone who used to swim like like constantly when I was younger, I was like low-key competitive. Um, I was horrible at putting on sunscreen. I would never put sunscreen on. But the thing is, because I'm like darker skinned, I would never get a sunburn. Like maybe on my body, but never on my face. And then in college one day, I was literally just walking to class and then I walked back to my dorm room burned my face. I was so shocked. That was my first experience of ever burning my face and it didn't even fully like, like soak in the sun. I was just walking to class and back and it was so bad, you guys. Like my skin started like, um, not blustering, but it started peeling off and no matter how much moisturizer, because I had like a huge event at my school the next day, so I wanted to like, look good for that day but oh my gosh no matter what i would do you guys that flakiness would not disappear it was just flake i removed all the flakes it reappeared it reappeared again it was just so horrible you guys the worst experience and then after that my face was very very prone to sunburn so now i love sunscreen and I apply it like all the time, especially because I like to walk a lot. So this is, I think this is a really good catch. I think I'll start um, actually buying this from now on because it has that SPF 50, but it also blocks out the highest like UV rays. Like it blocks out at the highest amount. I, I researched what the PA++++ stands for and it's just like the grade of uh, protection and how much it blocks out is. So the more pluses it has, the more it blocks out. So this has the highest. So you guys, if you're prone to that like me, or even if you're not, at one point, I never thought this would happen to me, but it happened to me. So don't take that risk. You don't want to do that to your face. Um, I would 100% recommend this. Um, I liked the variety that YesStyle was able to give me just because it gives me a step-by-step -step, uh, routine. And it's literally, it's only what, like four products? One to clean your skin, um, one to apply serum after to give it that hydration and moisturization. And then the last, well, one to just kind of massage it into your face. But then the last is just like, a really good quality sunscreen. So I completely recommend all all of these guys. Um, even the massager, it it, it will it will help you like deep bloat your face and just feel really really good in your skin. So can't recommend these enough. I did not have a bad experience with any of these, and believe me, I would tell you if I did. But I think these guys really work really well with my face. So. Just um, FYI on the um, the sunscreen, uh, we're at 20 minutes before you go out in the sun is what it says. So I would just adhere to that. But I hope you guys like this. Um, I had a lot of fun and it was really cool discovering these products as well because now I know what to buy going forward. So it was a learning lesson for all of us, but I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe and like below and I have all the links down below as well so um, feel free to get any of them um, and I do have my uh, discount code below too if, if you want to use that as well but until next time thanks for joining me